Morning or afternoon, it's Rick T, Outdoor Adventure, and I'm out with Billy Dog as usual. And we're going to do a series on tips and tricks for bushcraft. So this week we're going to look at processing wood and how to process it safely, efficiently and quickly. And a nice little technique for that. So if you're not in a camp with a saw horse or anything like that, this works great. Stick with us. So there's several ways we can do this. We can use the mechanics of the forest using what's around us or we can use the mechanics of the body. So I might not be near any trees that are giving me the right sort of shapes etc. So I can use the body. So a dead simple way is to use the mechanics of the body to trap the wood and hold the wood secure while you cut it. First, I'll show you the process, the technique, dead easy. We're going to use this, this is only about three inch diameter. But, we're going to use one leg to trap and one leg to sit on. So, if you've got big ass rugby legs, you'd be better than my skinny twigs. But, we're going to, we're going to trap it, so I'm using this bit to trap it like a vice. Yep, so I'm trapping it and then I'm resting it on this leg. Yep, so there it's a solid. So what I can do then, I can cut to the side of me and I've got a nice solid hold on it. So we can slice through nicely and if I want to move it up, I can move it up, re-trap it, start again. simple as that, does a great job, keeps it nice and safe, you're not wobbling around, you're nice and secure and you can cut to the length you want. So it makes it nice, so if you're cutting for to make a chair or anything like a bushcraft table or whatever, you can measure your lengths out, set it up each time, you've got a nice control cut and it works really well. So that's when you've got a saw, but what happens if you don't have a saw? I'll show you, you can use the trees for your mechanical advantage. So all we're looking for is a tree, the right shape, there's loads of them round here. If you keep your eyes open and spot one that's the right shape, you can use that tree and make the job efficient and effortless. Follow me. So, we've got a tree, I found the tree. The perfect shape, this Y shape is what I'm looking for and depending on the size of the timber you want to snap depends on the size of that Y shape as long as you've got a long enough piece to get the leverage but all we're going to do is we're going to use the leverage of this length of wood decide what length you want to, I'm going to chop stuff for firewood so I want some small battens for a small fire so I'm simply going to put it in, measure my distance boom, I've got one piece Lean back my body weight, boom, two piece. Getting shorter, lean back, boom, three piece. So simple as that, in a matter of seconds, I'm getting the perfect pieces for my fire. A lot more efficient, in fact, than sewing. And I'm using the environment around me, dead easy. So, for instance, I want to make a bit of camp furniture, and I'm making a chair. And I want a piece about six foot long. As long as I've got a long enough piece like this, I want that to be my snapping point ish. So dead simple. Let's 
just going to pop it in there so I know my snapping points about here and I'm going to use the leverage of the full branch lean back that's popped slightly short so all you're going to do dead easy is we'll spin it round and we'll take it off there boom we've got the length of wood dead easy and the more you do it the more you get used to your certain lengths Let's have another go with this bit Nice big piece. Yeah, I'm going to want about that long. So what I'll do is I'll take the short end off. Bang. I've got the six foot long piece of wood. So there we are. Two dead easy, dead quick ways of processing your wood. One with a simple saw one without any tools that work for the woodsman and the outdoor adventurer. Have a go. If you've not had a go already, have a go and use them. They work brilliantly. So, from me and Billy, it's been great to see you again and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Catch you soon. ta -da.